Hey, you got a question for Gabby? You had mentioned that working with male directors such as John Hughes could be kind of a tough experience while working with female directors like Nora Ephron was a little bit more pleasant. So I'm curious, you know, what's your take several years later on the differences between directors? I think I happen to work with sort of a bunch of, of, of slightly difficult male directors when I was a kid. Um, and then there was Nora who stood out like a shining golden goddess. Um, I've since worked with lots of male directors that I love. So um, I no longer see the distinction um, gender wise. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it makes all the difference. I mean, you, the, you're either in it together <laughs> or you're not. And if you're not, it sucks. I don't think John Hughes liked me. I don't know why. And what do you I mean? Why? Him, you, why I think the other one I was referring to was Mel Gibson, and I think we can all agree that's going to be tough for anybody. <laughs> to work for, with Mel Gibson? <laughs> I mean... What was the hardest part? <laughs> he screamed at me. Mel Gibson screamed oh, at you? Oh, God, he really screamed at me. What did he say? Why was he yelling he at you? He started cursing and screaming at me. What was the movie? Man Without a Face. And so what's Mel Gibson yelling at you for as a young kid? I think I was acting like a kid. Instead of, an, instead of a professional actor. It, hap you, it happens once in a while when you're a kid actor. Did he make you cry? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think otherwise he was fine. I don't know. Have you, ever, sort of, yeah. have you ever run into him since then? Have not. What I probably you, will now that I'm I was going to say, what would you say to him? What would you say, what would you say to him if... Uh, I'd say, I hope you're feeling better, Mel. I hope he's feeling better, too.